Good evening. Good evening, students. Welcome to the class. Thank you for joining. So we're going to start right now. Sorry for the delay. Let's see. Can you hear me, guys? Can you hear me? Can you hear me yes. well? Yes. Excellent. Thank you very much. Excellent. So, well, let's go ahead and start. Thank you for joining. Hello, Eric. Hi, Carlita. I have here Kenya Can Drive, Rocio Vasquez, Lester, and also we have uh, Mariana. So, welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining. So, yesterday we started talking about um, present perfect, right? We started talking about present perfect, and uh, probably we're going to have just a very quick review, right, of some of the things that we started, right? So, today is session number 10. Imagínense, chicos, sesión 10 de 16. So actually, you're you're about to finish your intermediate module module one, right? Intermediate one. So today is October twenty seventh. We are about to finish. You know, this month, this month just you know flew by. As it fue voló, right? And we're about to be. I mean, we're about to start November, right? We're about to move to November. So let's start. We said that um, we were going to continue talking about present perfect uh, last week. And let me see if I can open this up because actually I wanted to check the elements, right, that we need with present perfect. Y también dijimos con present perfect que we have to be very careful, right? Mm. Okay, Mariana. Okay, bear with me, solo le contesto a Mariana. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Mariana. Okay, very good. So I was saying, dijimos that one of the most important things is that you need to know how to use past participle. Dijimos que, I mean, it's okay. I mean, you probably, you have already studied the past simple of verbs, of irregular verbs especially, but also you need to know how to work with, um, with past participles because you're going to need them. Lo vamos a necesitar. So I I strongly recommend, right? I strongly recommend that you start practicing a little bit with past um with past participle of verbs, right? So well, give me one moment. It is still opening up. Yesterday we talked also about um about uh this is experience. I'm sorry, I got a I got a, una laguna mental. Se cayó el hamster, dicen por ahí, okay? Así que yesterday we were talking about experiences, right? We were talking about have you ever, and also you were working in your breakout rooms and you were asking those questions, right? And I don't know if you remember, right? Have you ever eaten exotic food, right? Have you ever been to another country, right? Et cetera. So we, have, we were talking about two different things, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver qué tal, qué, qué tal dibujo, veamos, vamos a usar hoy los dibujitos, ok? We're going to draw. Entonces, we're going to go back to this point, guys, because actually, um, let me move my notebook a little bit. And my pen, sorry guys, I always have a notebook and a pen, right? Oh, ok, someone is typing in the chat, but I'm going to answer later. Bye. We were talking about two things. We were talking about past simple and we were talking about present perfect. Okay, good. Vaya. Voy a dibujar una línea de tiempo. Okay, this is my timeline. Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about past simple. Okay, so, oh, we have some stops here. I'm going to use some stars. Very good. Okay, so this is my present, guys. Aquí estoy yo. Here I am. Okay. And let's go ahead and get a different stamp. Uh, what about these ones? What about hearts, little hearts? Okay. Here and here. Okay. Yesterday we said that uh, when we use simple past, it's because we're talking about a completed action, right? So we're going to have a time here within this heart and this heart. Okay, cool. 
Now, vamos a ver. Okay, chicos, this is simple past in the in my time in my timeline timeline. Uh -huh. This is simple past. That's gonna be I'm here. Ese es mi presente. Okay, this is my present. And you know what? We're going to do something. Vamos a ver. This is going to be 2005 to 2000. Oops, 2016. Cool. Oops. Entonces, we're going to move here. Right, and we're going to add another one. And this is going to be 2020. Este año lleno de sorpresas. ¿Quién se iba a imaginar que iba a pasarte todo un poco? Bye. This is very good. This is my timeline. And I'm going to let you know what happened. Okay, so guys, you know what? I studied in the university from... 2005 to, oops, sorry, to 2016, okay? Entonces, teacher, ¿por qué está usando simple past ahí? Si también dice que present perfect se utiliza para una acción que comenzó en el pasado, ¿verdad? Pero que todavía tiene, eh, todavía tiene relación con mi presente. Yeah, but in this case, it, it doesn't have anything to do with my present. Nada más que mi experiencia, right? Lo que yo estudié. Entonces, this is my present. I am here, 2020. Okay? And this is from 2005 to 2016. So, I studied in the university from 2005, 2005 to 2016. Okay? Entonces, ¿por qué uso present, I mean, past simple teacher? Oh, because we use it, we use past simple to talk about um, completed or finished, verdad, finished, oops, finished action, I mean, finished events or actions, no sé, verdad, events or actions in the past, verdad, o sea, fue una acción completada, it doesn't have anything to do with me right now, right, I don't go to university anymore, I, I don't go to the university anymore, I don't do homework, etc. Okay. Now, what happens with the second thing? Estamos hablando de past simple. Now, let's talk a little bit about present perfect. Okay, this is going to be this one. And I'm going to use here. This is my present, right? And I'm going to leave. Oops, I don't like that. I want it. Yeah, here. Very good. So I'm going to talk a little bit about present perfect. So if you see, we're going to have a different timeline, okay? And I'm going to specify that this is 2020, 2020, very good, okay? Okay, and let's say that we, this is going to be, if I'm not mistaken, espero no estar equivocada, but that's gonna be 2012, probably. Probably, I think that's it. Very good. Y teacher, ¿qué pasó ahí? I'll tell you right now, ya les cuento, okay? So, I'm going to say, pay attention. I have, I have been a teacher for, that's gonna be, for eight years, okay? I have been a teacher for eight years. Teacher, pero, pero como si usted empezó en el 2012, así es. But I'm still teaching. Todavía trabajo en esto. No me he rendido. <laughs> Todavía sigo aquí. <laughs> okay, so I have been a teacher for eight years, right? Entonces, estoy usando present perfect because this action started in the past. Esta acción comenzó en el pasado, pero guess what? Todavía sigo haciéndolo, right? I'm still working as a teacher. Bueno, no, so, no solo soy maestra, de hecho trabajo de otras cosas también, ¿verdad? 
eh, he sido asistente administrativa bilingüe, he eh, trabajado pues en call center before, de todo un poco. Uno de todo aprende, uno siempre tiene que dejar puertas abiertas porque uno nunca sabe, right? Entonces, I have been a teacher for eight years. Entonces, that action started in the past. Comenzó en el pasado, pero mire, todavía sigo trabajando. Entonces, it's, it is still part of my present. Um, it is still connected, I'm sorry, to my present. Entonces, we use, oops, sorry. We use present perfect to talk about, okay, events, okay, within a time period to the present or events that started in the past, comenzaron en el pasado, and they still continue, continue into the present, right? Into the present time. En otras palabras, yo diría, bueno, entre paréntesis diría yo, they are still part of my present, right? Very good. So that's when, that's when we use, sorry, um, present perfect. Now, ¿qué otro ejemplo podría darles? I'm going to give you another example, okay? This example is going to be the following. Lo vamos a escribir acá y esta vez sí voy a cambiar el color. My me, probably, green. No, red, 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 okay. I'm sorry, guys. Right, very good. Bye. For example, I can say, teacher, I lived in that house for nine years. De repente vamos caminando y me dice, Mariana, teacher, do you see that house over there? Oh, yes, I see that, Mariana, diría yo. I lived in that house for nine years, teacher. Oh, really? Right? Yo viví en esa casa por nueve años. Okay? So that it's something that started in the past and it ended in the past. Right? Pero ¿qué sucede? What happens when um, I still live there? Right? So lo contrario sería lo siguiente. I have, oops, sorry. I have lived in this house for 10 years. Oh, for nine years, ¿verdad? Yo fui a visitar a Mariana, ¿verdad? A su casa, y yo le digo, Mariana, what a beautiful house. Y ella me dice, yes, teacher, I have lived in this house for nine years. ¿Vive Mariana todavía ahí, chicos? En la segunda oración, ¿vive Mariana todavía ahí? Does she live, does she still live there? No, dice Mariana, ¿cómo no? Todavía viví ahí. Si yo estoy utilizando present perfect, ¿verdad? Si yo estoy yes, utilizando... she still... Exactly, she still lives there, right? Si yo estoy utilizando el present perfect, ¿verdad? Es porque es una acción que comenzó en el pasado. Ah, sí, Mariana, está bien, no se preocupe, se equivocó ella al digitar, ¿ok? No problem. Entonces, si yo hablo de algo que comenzó en el pasado y todavía tiene conexión con mi presente, entonces, I used present perfect. Ok. O por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, uh, bueno, como teachers, como les digo, nosotros no lo sabemos todos. Nosotros aprendemos todos los días de tantas cosas. En mi caso, eh, a veces de personas que probablemente no son del país y, y uno aprende vocabulario con ellos, ¿verdad? O a veces este, en los libros, right? Or sometimes through the videos. Entonces, yo puedo decir, I have studied English. I have studied English for what, for 10 years, ¿verdad? Or I have studied English for two years. Entonces, ¿qué quiere decir eso? Es una acción que ha comenzado en el pasado, pero todavía continúa. He estudiado inglés por tanto tiempo. ¿He terminado? No, yo considero que no. Un idioma es mucha tela para cortar, right? So you learn new, new, new things every, every single day. And remember, I mean, that's the point, right? To learn new things. Eso es la, la, lo maravilloso, el secreto, ¿verdad? Saber que no lo sabemos todo y que todos los días aprendemos cosas nuevas. That's the secret, okay? Sorry. So I don't know if you have any questions. ¿Hay alguna pregunta con lo que acabo de explicar, chicos? ¿Entendimos lo de la línea del tiempo? 
Questions, preguntas para la teacher. Dudas. No, teacher. No, very good, very good. Okay. So I'm going to do something here. No, quizás lo voy a dejar así. And then I'm going to fix it. Quería hacer algo con ustedes así como live, ¿verdad? Aquí en vivo que arregláramos. Vamos a agregar una información. Pero vamos a ver si me va a dejar. Pues creo que no. Bye. I'm going to use a template. Voy a usar una template de, eh, del verb, de past simple, ¿ok? Of verb B. No, perdón. Of past simple of other verbs. Bye. Esto es, chicos, con respecto. Ah, bueno, si quieren, I'm going to take the screenshot. Me voy a tomar el screenshot para que les quede ahí. Espero no tener spelling mistakes ahí. Let me put this here. Let me minimize this and let me get the screenshot. Okay. Very good. Voy a abrir su chat para mandárselos por ahí. Solo que eso toma un poquitín de tiempo. Mientras tanto, okay, I'm going to continue. It's loading, guys. It's loading. Going to clear all my drawings. Very good. Ahora bien, eh, what about the structure, teacher? ¿Qué pasó con la estructura, teacher, en el caso del verb to be? Oh, verb to be. Vamos a ver. La estructura del verb, verb to be, perdón, de simple past con otros verbos. Eh, en este caso, lo vi, no sé si se recuerdan que lo vimos, ¿verdad? En la primera semana, pero igual si no se recuerdan no hay problema. We said that eh, in the past, well, the past simple is kind of um, simple. <laughs> I would say is easier than present simple because um, we can uh, just we we just use I'm sorry the past simple of the verb in the affirmative sentence, but then in the negative sentences we use an auxiliary, and that auxiliary is didn't. So we use didn't for negative sentences, and we use did for questions, right? Um, so that's no hay donde perderse, como decimos. It's very, 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 very easy. As long as you know the elements that you need in your sentences, you're going to be totally fine. Okay? Wait, guys, the the um, the chat is loading, so I can share with you the picture. Wait. That's why I don't like to have it open. No me gusta abrir el chat porque Eso tarda demasiado y consume recursos de la computadora y de internet y hace más lento todo. Pero solo les voy a pasar las notas y luego quizás lo vamos a dejar así un momento para que deje de cargar, termine de cargar. Ok. Veamos, chicos. Entonces dijimos that in, um, let me see, in affirmative, I would say in affirmative sentences, right? Uh, remember that we need a subject. Right, we need a subject. Oh, give me one moment. Aquí nos escribió René. Vamos a contestarle very, very quickly. Wait, guys. Solo le vamos a responder a él rapidito. Can you hear me, guys? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, guys? Yes, teacher. Sorry, the computer got frozen for a moment. Well, guys, le voy a guardar los screenshots. Les voy a guardar los screenshots porque no me deja compartirlos. Eh, aparentemente, pues está utilizando como memoria o recursos y eso hace más lenta las cosas. Pero no se preocupen, aquí se los voy a ir guardando y luego se los comparto, ¿ok? 
Very good. So I was saying we need um, the elements, right? Oops, what happened? Mm. Can you hear me, guys? Yes, now. Very good. I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden things disappear. Okay. Very good. Imagine, solo por medio abrir, querer, querer pasarle, pasarles el, el screenshot. Yes, I'm here, Carlita. I'm here. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, so let's go ahead and see. We were talking about the elements. Well, let me see the chat. Pero el de Zoom. Ya me escucha, Carlita. Ahora me escucha bien. Very good. Excellent. Vaya, una de las razones por las que a esta hora, chicos, me escuchan así es porque yo vengo de una clase de 8 a 9. Entonces, la computadora eh, está programada, perdón, el, la, 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 la reunión está programada para descargarse en la computadora. Entonces, cuando yo estoy en clase con ustedes, ese video de esa clase de una hora se está descargando en mi computadora. Por eso es que de repente sienten que no me escuchan bien. Probablemente eso sea, ¿verdad? Ok, very good. So, let's see. So, we, we said that we need a subject, right? Then we need a verb in past. And also, I need a complement, right? And if it is negative, I'm going to, I'm going to need uh, the subject, right? I'm going to need the verb didn't. I'm sorry, the auxiliary didn't. I'm going to need my verb. Pero qué sucede cuando ya tengo un auxiliar? Cuando ya tengo un auxiliar, when I have an auxiliary, I don't need to uh, have it in past anymore. Se pueden imaginar si yo digo, um, she didn't went to the church. Wow, that sounds weird. Se escucharía bien raro, okay? She doesn't, I mean, she didn't went to the church. No, right, it's not possible. Es como si estuviese diciendo, es como si estuviese diciendo, I'm sorry, lo mismo dos veces. ¿Por qué? Porque si yo sé que didn't expresa el mensaje de que uno, la oración es negativa, y dos, que es en pasado, yo no necesito modificar el verbo que tengo al, al lado, right? So the, the sentence would be, she didn't go to the church. She didn't go to the church. Why? Because I don't need to modify my verb next to it, right? And then we got the complement, right? I need my complement. And then when I am using questions, when I'm using questions, right, I know that if I am not going to use information questions, yo voy a comenzar con did. So I start with my auxiliary. Sucede ese switch, ¿verdad? And the subject changes position with the auxiliary in this case. So the auxiliary comes at the beginning. Well, let me get the pointer. Bye. The auxiliary comes at the beginning and the subject moves one space. Then I need my verb, my verb in base form, en forma base. Okay, yo ya no modifico, yo no puedo decir, did she went to the church? Did she went to the, uh, to the school, right? No, porque ya estoy utilizando did. Y did al principio está expresando el mensaje de que número uno, it is a question, and number two, it is in simple past. Okay? Por eso si se fijan en inglés, we use question mark at the end. Es solo al final. Nosotros lo hacemos al principio y al final, but in English we do it at the end. Right? Why? Para mí, en mi mente, por supuesto, esa soy yo. That's me. No vayan a decir, la teacher dijo que así es. No. In my mind, I think, pueda que sea, que cuando yo hago la reversión, ¿verdad? Y paso mi auxiliar, cambio mi auxiliar de posición, eso cuenta para mí como mi primer question mark, ¿verdad? Para que mi pregunta suene como una pregunta. Pero eso es mi pensamiento, ¿verdad? No voy a decir, la teacher dijo que así es. Vaya, but what happens? ¿Verdad? I got my elements, my complement, then my question mark. Si yo no agrego un question mark a mi pregunta, I don't have a question. Unless I say it. Si yo la digo, debe de llevar esa entonación, ¿verdad? Um, did you go to the movies? Did you go to the movies? Did you go, did you go to work? Did you work today? Right? But if you don't, if you're typing or if you're writing, ¿verdad? Y si no me le agrega el question mark, what's that? 
No parece que sea una pregunta si no tiene el question mark. Y luego tenemos los WH words. Dijimos que si son information questions, they go at the beginning. Van a ir al principio, ¿verdad? Antes de todos los demás elementos. Los demás elementos no van a cambiar. ¿Ok? Very good. Entonces, vamos a irnos acá. Voy a minimizar esto. And we're going to... We're going to do that. Okay, so... Well, let me see. Very good. We're going to change this. Vamos a usar esta misma template. But this time we're going to talk about, we're going to copy this and we're going to move it here. Vamos a movernos. Nada más. Very good. Aquí estamos. Very good. So we're going to use this one, but this time we're going to talk about present perfect. Vamos a hablar un poquito de la estructura de present perfect, okay? Present, per oops, present perfect. Very good. Vaya, chicos, what are the elements? Ahora ustedes me van a ayudar. What are the elements that I need here? Vamos a ir borrando todo lo de las casillas. Don't worry. Let's talk about affirmative sentences. A ver, un voluntario. What are the elements in an affirmative sentence with present perfect? ¿Qué tendríamos que...? Dígame, Rocío. What do we need here? ¿Qué necesitaríamos acá? Uh, when, when we... Well, when we use our uh, present perfect, uh, we need uh, the auxiliary have. Very, very good. For the subject, I, we, and they. In the auxiliary has uh, a person. Excellent, very good. Of course, always the the... The past participle. Exactly. Necessary is necessary conjugated the verb. Well, doesn't it, matter in his question, affirmative or oh. or negative sentence, right? Very good job, Rocio. Thank can you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Thank you very much. I, I could hear yes. all, all what you said. Thank you for your participation, Rocio. And she's right. Actually, here, guys, it's when we need the auxiliary, right? But as she was saying, como ella nos decía, ¿verdad? We need to conjugate the verb, right? If it is have, right, we know that it is for I, you, we, they, and plural nouns. If it is going to be has, we know that that's going to be for he, she, it, and singular nouns. Very good. And then she said something very important, right? She said the verb in this case is going to be in past participle. Past participle, right? Give me one moment. Give me one moment. There you go. Okay. So we need the verb in past participle, right? So we don't need it in past anymore. And we need a complement, okay? Now, si en este caso es going to be negative, yo sé entonces que voy a utilizar haven't, ¿verdad? Or hasn't, ¿verdad? Oops. Ahí está, haven't or hasn't, ¿verdad? Todo depende del type of subject que yo esté utilizando. Pero aquí no, aquí va a ser siempre igual. Va a ser mi verb in past participle. Como nos decía Rocío, aquí yo ya no voy a utilizar los verbos en su forma eh, base, ¿verdad? Aquí siempre lo voy a conjugar. Entonces, si yo tengo una pregunta, my auxiliary comes at the beginning, right? Entonces tengo have or has, I got my subject, and here I got the same again. I got the verb in past participle, right? I got my complement and I got my question mark, okay? Entonces, if you see, si ustedes ven, I have all my elements. Aquí están todos mis elementos. I need my subject, then I need my auxiliary, have or has, I need my verb in past participle, okay? And here, my complement too. No le agregamos una, 
un símbolo más acá ahorita se lo hacemos, don't worry. I'm going to add this here. Oops. We're going to move this one a little bit. This one too. Wait, guys, wait. And this one, we're going to move it a little bit to the left. Give me one moment. I think there you go. Okay, so we said we got the subject, we got auxiliary, have or has, we got verb in past. Also, we got uh, the subject in the negative sentence, have or hasn't, verb in past, right? And all the elements. Ahí está, I see. Okay, so th that is the formula, guys. Esa sería la formula or the structure to use your sentences in present perfect, okay? Very good. So also, I would like to, I would like to listen to you. Me gustaría también escucharles a ustedes. So actually, I would like to listen to some of your experiences, some of the things that you have done, okay? So what I want you to do, guys, lo que sí quisiera que, que hiciéramos en este, en este momento, can you hear me? Me escuchan? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. thank you. Very yes. Good. Thank you. Uh, what, what I want you to do is the following. Quisiera, por favor, I want you to write down a, a little bit about you, okay? But what I want you to do is to tell me about uh, something from the past, right? Past events or things that you that uh, started in the past and that continue with your that continue into the present, okay? So, for example, vamos a comenzar conmigo, okay? I'm going to start. And if you want, let me go ahead and use the notes. But give me one moment. Aquí hay un mensaje de ustedes en Zoom. Okay, thank you, Kenya. Bye. Very good. So, let's start. Vamos a ponerlos acá. What can you talk about? Well, you can talk about anything. In my case, guys, let me talk a little bit about what? My experience, right? My experience probably in the university or at work. Okay, I can tell you, it's students, but uh, to you, um, I, oops, I studied um, a major, una carrera, ¿verdad? a major in English teaching. I studied a major in English teaching. Oh, English, pero um, opción de enseñanza, right? Can you hear me, guys? ¿Me escuchan? Yes, Can you hear me? Okay, es que como que yo siento como que yo los, no los escucho a ustedes. So I studied a major in English teaching. And also I graduated, graduated in 2016. Um, also my daughter, my daughter was born in 2008, right? Um, I have worked as a teacher, oops, as a teacher for almost, casi, ¿verdad? Almost eight years. I have worked as a teacher for almost eight years. Oops, sorry. I have lived in this house for probably six years, quizás más, no recuerdo, six years, right? I have, I have been, you know, I have been busy the whole week. Toda la semana, I have been busy the whole week. I had a lot of work these past days. Okay, so that's a little bit about me, right? Okay, so I'm going to say something like this. Hi, guys. Uh, in this case, my name is Marcella. Okay, um, I studied a major in English teaching. I graduated in 2016. And also my daughter was born in 2008, right? I have worked as a teacher for almost eight years. And I have lived in this house for six years too. Um, I have been busy the whole week, right? Because I had a lot of work these past days. Okay, so that's about me, sobre mí, 
but what about you? ¿Qué hay ustedes? Okay. So I'm going to give you some time, aprovechando pues que hay poco soy. I'm going to give you some time so eh, each of you, cada uno de ustedes puede hablar. ¿Verdad? So get ready. I will give you four, four minutes, okay? Four to five minutes for you to get ready. It's 9.39. We're going to start at 9.44 or 9.45, okay? But if you have a question, tell me. Si tienen preguntas, avíseme. Dígame, teacher, I have a question, okay? Y también, si hay algo en la plataforma, avíseme. Let me know. Aunque hoy hubo un pequeño inconveniente, así que si intentamos entrar ahorita, no vamos a poder. Pero igual, si tienen preguntas, anótenlas en su cuadernito o en algún lado. O mándenme las promesas de teacher. Esta es mi duda en el ejercicio tal. Y ya lo vemos en la noche, ¿verdad? Así que, please, go ahead and uh, prepare your sentences, ¿ok? I will give you five minutes, please.
minutes. Eight to four minutes. Uh, teacher is, is I don't know if you are talking to us but we we can hear you yeah I don't know if uh, somebody else can here can you hear me now uh, yes but it's it's different um, your voice is lower It sounds very loud, teacher. No. You hear my voice like slow, like if I'm speaking slow. Not not slowly. Is um, uh, it's um, it's not a note. Um, Creo que es el micrófono, teacher. Creo que subió su micrófono. Aquí. Esto, eh, Esto era. Y yo, ¿qué hacer? I had it like this. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm going to stop. You know, voy a parar yo de hablar. Pero ahora sí les toca a ustedes, ¿ok? Así que, let's go ahead and start. Y voy a comenzar con la lista. Permítanme. Thank you, Lester. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No me había fijado que había subido el, el micrófono. Ok, so let's start with you, uh, Mariana. Do you have your, your information ready? Yes, teacher. Very good. Go ahead. Ok. Uh, my name is Mariana. I graduated from college in 2015. I have studied at the university for five years, and this is my last year. <laughs> Excellent, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> and You're I have lived in San Salvador in this house for one year. And I work as a Spanish teacher last year. Really, that sounds, that sounds good. Yes. Like a good experience, like a great experience, okay? Yes. With babies. <laughs> oh, with babies, really? Oh, yes. that, how cute. Okay, very good. Excellent, Mariana. Is that it? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. So thank you very much for sharing that, Mariana. Now, take a look at the list. Vea los participantes, la lista de participantes, and you pick the next person. Pick another person. Mm. 
Kenya can drive. Kenya can drive, okay. Let's go ahead and listen to you, Kenya. Hi. Hi. I studied in Liceo Cristiano and I played the violin at the Soyapango Philharmonic. Okay. And yeah. My sister was born in 2008. Uh, I have lived in this house for five years. I have studied English for six months and I have studied in the university for three years. For two years. Excellent. Good, good, good sentences. Thank you very much, Kenya. Can try? Good job. What about the next person, Kenya? Go to the list. Go to the list and pick the next person. Giselle. Giselle. Okay, Giselle, your turn. Hay alguien que se llame Giselle. Yo ya no veo a alguien llamado Giselle. No, Kenya. Can you pick another person? Who? Ah? Who said me? Hello. Okay, mm -hmm. can can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh well it seems our is having problems. What about yes. you? Let's see, Lester. Can you share your uh your information, please? Okay, okay. Um my name is Lester Cruz. I am here, teacher. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, okay, um Are you going ahead, Rocio? No, the thing is that Rocio, uh, I think she's having problems. Rocio, can you hear me? Rocio, can you hear me? Dos segundos. I am here. Yes, teacher, I am here. Can you hear me? The thing is that you're having problems with the connection. Hello? I can hear you now. I can hear you. Rocio? Rocio? Yes, I can hear you. Eh, sí, pero no entendimos si lo que quería era participar. Oh, o... yes, I can hear you. Pero, va yes, a yes, pero... I want to participate. <laughs> okay, just give me one moment. Solo que termine Lester and then you go, okay? Okay, Escucho? okay very good. So, okay. Lester, eh, you continue and then we move to with Rocio. Okay, okay, okay. Um, my name is Lester Cruz and I have played chess for 10 years. I have been learning English the last two weeks and I have worked on customer service for one year. For one year. Okay, good job, right? You have worked. I have worked. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you, Lester. Rocio, are you there? Hoy sí me escucha bien, Rocio. Rocio. It's your turn. Can you hear okay. me, Rocio? Okay. Yes, I can hear you. Excellent. Please can share you with hear us. Me? Yes, I can. Okay. My name is Rocio. I was born in 1994. I lived with my partner 20 years. I got married in 2014. Okay. I have in my own house for six years. I've been studying English uh, several times. I haven't had the opportunity of travel to country and I have never drunk alcohol and I have never eaten octopus too. Octopus too. Okay, very good. Good job. Thank you, Rocio. You shared a lot of experiences, right? Excellent. Thank you very much. What about you, Mariana? No, Mariana, ya le pregunté, ¿verdad? Yes, I, I already asked you. What about you, Eric Acosta? Are you there? Eric. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Can you share your examples with the class? Your information, I'm sorry. Okay, teacher. Hi, my name is Eric Acosta. I studied engineer and I graduated this year, exactly April 6th from El Salvador University, oh. University, and I visited 
Guatemala in 2018. Mm -hmm. I have lived in this house all my life and I haven't traveled to United States, but I want to visit in the future. Okay, very good. Good job. Actually, why not, right? So in my case, I would like to travel too. I have never traveled before, but I would like to travel just to, to know new places, right? Why not? I mean, yes. I like my country. Yo me quedo aquí en el país. I like it, but I, it's good to know other places too, right? Very good. Thank you, Eric. What about you, Kenia Acevedo? Kenia? Good evening. My Good name evening. is Kenia. I studied a major in El Salvador University. I graduated in uh, 1998. I lived in San Salvador for three years. I was in a basketball team in uh, 2016. I worked in a pool from uh, 2002 to 2002. 2002? 2002. I have worked in a pool from uh, 2002 to 2015. I have worked in Santa Paula School for six years. Okay, very I have, good. I have got married in uh, 2011. I have studied English online for three weeks. For three weeks. Okay, very good. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. So you have been a teacher for a lot of a lot of time, right? Yes. Excellent. Admirable, Kenya. Thank you very much. Okay. So yeah, I mean, it's una profesión bastante admirable, right? And well, things have changed a lot. Las cosas han cambiado mucho, but anyways, we have to adapt. Hay que adaptarnos, right? So thank you very much, Kenya. Uh, what about you, Monica? Are you here, Monica? Uh, yes, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hello. Tell us. Okay. My name is Monica. Um, I have like reading since I was six years old. And I started reading children's stories. And until today, I have read books of almost all genres. Also, I like to draw, and I have sometimes drawn some of the scenes from the books I like. Okay. Excellent. Very good. So, you love reading, Monica. Yes, I like. What's your favorite book? Do you I have one? Have a, it's difficult, I, I right? Couldn't tell. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't tell. But, I can choose one. Yeah, it's true. It's understandable. I mean, when you like reading, it's very difficult like to pick one book. <laughs> but what about the genre that you like? What what is what's your favorite type of book? Mm, that's <laughs> that's another thing I I can't really uh, pick just just one just one gender. Oh okay. Um, actually, mm, how do you say I? Actualmente, it's not actually it currently. Is, uh, currently. Currently. Currently, thank you. Uh, currently, uh, I am reading uh, a classic. Um, oh. It's Madame, Madame Bovary from, it's uh, written by Gustave Plover. And th that's like, that's what I'm doing right, right now. Okay, de de todo un poco, right? <laughs> yes. Excellent, no problem. Well, the good thing is to learn, um, I mean, it's like you travel. When you read, you travel, right? You imagine things and and you get into the books, you get into the story and that's something cool, right? And yeah, in my case, I like reading. I remember probably um, my favorite type of book. Well, when I was in high school, of course, things have changed a lot, but I would say um, I, I remember I loved reading, you know, Sherlock Holmes stories, right? Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, all right? Um, also, I remember, uh, what's the name of this book? I think it's Marianella, I don't remember. Maria Canela, it's in the book. But I mean, there, were, there are so many things that I used to read when I was in high school. Now I read, but I read, you know, probably different stories. Um, I have several books, motivational, you know, motivational books, probably I have read four 
during the last probably couple of years, right? And then novels, novels, right? Um, what's the name of this book? The one that I read not that long ago. Oh, The Book Thief. I remember I, I read The Book Thief or La Ladrona de Libros, I think. It's, um, what is the name of the book? Oh, I don't, I don't remember the name, but I read a very good book. Not that, not that long ago. Oh my goodness, I forgot the name of the book. Por ahí creo que está, I will tell you later. But anyways, guys. Um, so let's go ahead and have a recap, right, before, before I let you go. So we, we said, um, number one, we need to remember that when we use present simple is we, when we talk about completed events or completed actions in the past and that they do not have a connection with my present. Number two, that I'm going to use present perfect to talk about those events or those actions that started in the past, but that they still continue being part of my life. They, they are still, you know, uh, happening, right? Not at the moment, but it's just something estar siempre en proceso, digamos así, it's in process. Number two, number two, um, we use also present perfect to talk about experiences, right? Probablemente ese es el uso más común, como lo vimos al principio con las preguntas. Have you ever, right? Have you ever been to another country? Have you ever eaten exotic food? Food, I'm sorry. Have you eaten um, octopus, como lo decía alguien por ahí, verdad? Have you, have you ever drunk alcohol, right, etc. So you name it. When we ask that type of questions with have you ever, we're talking about experiences, right, that we have um, had in the past. Also, we said that the elements that we need, one of the most important elements that we need, no, two important elements that we need in present perfect are number one, the auxiliary that can be have or has. ¿Por qué have or has, teacher? Because have, the verb have is irregular. And if I'm talking about the third person singular, como he, she, it, or singular nouns, I know that I'm going to use has. But if I'm talking about I, you, we, they, and plural nouns, I know that I'm going to use have. That's number one. And number two, the past participle of verbs. And that's something very important, guys, the past participle of verbs. Es bien difícil que nosotros seamos como fluent, right? And simple past, si no tenemos los verbos en simple past. Y va a ser bien difícil que seamos fluent en, con, con, utilizando los perfect tenses si en realidad no manejamos el pasado participio de esos verbos. Entonces, we need to be careful with that, right? We need to be careful with that. And also, uh, we talked about the, um, the position, right, of each of the elements. I got, I have the auxiliary at the beginning, then I have the subject, then I have ever, then I have past participle and the complement, right? So those are like the most important elements that I need. <clears throat> Sorry. And then we said also in the question, in the question there is a switch, right? So we know that the, the subject comes at the beginning and then, I mean, the, the auxiliary comes at the beginning and then we continue with the same process, with the same elements, right? So pretty much that was it, right? I like the most important information that we have uh, studied. And do not forget about the short answers, right? So if I ask you, hey guys, have you ever eaten um, snail? snails, right, or snake, I don't know, and you say, uh, yeah, teacher, yes, I have, but I didn't like it, or not, teacher, no, I haven't. I would never do that, right? No lo haría. So actually, we need to be careful with that, with the short answers that we provide, okay? So guys, I'm going to stop here, and I will let you go now. So thank you very much for joining today, and let's meet tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to continue, and if you have any questions with the platform, please let me know and bring your questions to the class, okay? So thank you very much for being here. Good night, and I see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bless you. Good night. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, everyone. You're welcome. Good night.